Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're here on the shores of Lake Washington and we're about to jump on the Navier 30 electric hydrofoil. And I'm here with Sam Cedar, who's gonna show us around this super cool boat. What do you got going on here, buddy? First of all, welcome. Yeah, so Thank this you. is America's first and the world's longest range electric hydrofoil boat. We're gonna be four feet above Lake Washington today, fully electric and uh, smooth, quiet. It's got a range of 75 nautical miles. Exactly. Is yeah. that a first? Yeah, so it's the world lo world's longest range. Yeah, so we're, amazing. And this is in this version, we're pushing for our next version to be over 100 nautical miles. Whew, yeah. wow. Well, I'm looking forward to jumping on board and having you show us around a little bit before we shoot out onto the lake here. And yeah. Take a spin, man. Absolutely, so I'll right. give a, a brief overview here before okay. we step on the boat even, which is this boat has three foils on it. Mm -hmm. So we have one foil in the front and then two foils in the back. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice on the side of the boat, it says electric flying boat, and that mm -hmm. it truly is an airplane. We have three wings, three ailerons, and a flight control system on board that once the boat leaves the water surface, it truly is an airplane. Each of the ailerons updates at 50 times per second, mm -hmm. and the airplane, I say airplane because it is once it's in the water, the boat or the airplane will bank in uh, controlled turns the same way that an airplane will. Hmm. So you have rudder, you have roll, you have pitch, you have elevator control. It's all the same fly-by-wire system that an airplane does. Wow, it's only fitting that we're right next to Boeing here. Yeah, exactly. Aeronautical engineering in this boat. Now, how uh, large are the motors here that power this thing? Yeah, so they're each 90 kilowatt peak motors, which is about okay. 120 horsepower. Okay. Uh, but the beauty of this boat is we actually use only about 35 horsepower when we're on foil, mm -hmm. which is really beautiful. And mm -hmm. that's about 10 times more efficient than a traditional gas boat of this yeah. size. So traditional boat gets about one, maybe two miles per gallon of a 30 foot size that's gas. And we're more in the 30, 35 miles per gallon. Unreal. Equipment. Yeah. It's exciting, man. Let's take a peek around inside. Yeah, absolutely. And take off feel, here. Feel free to step on board. Yeah. Here. So show us around here. Obviously, you got a back deck here. I, I've watched some of your videos online. Cork yeah. flooring, Cork right? Cork floor, yeah. And uh, looks like you got a big sliding door yeah. in here. So you can enclose this cabin. Exactly. And this is a prototype. So I know it's not exactly where you want it, but it's yeah. pretty close and it, it looks great. You got a lot of room in here for passengers. Looks like you got seating for uh, geez, six to eight people in here. Yeah, so this really boat's, comfortable. Uh, this boat's about an eight, eight passenger boat. Um, yeah. It's uh, meant to be day boat, seat, comfortable seating for everybody. We have the front deck, which has a wraparound seating there. There's a table that pops up in the front, mm -hmm. indoor seating and back deck seating as well. Yeah. And one of the best parts about this boat with that active control aileron system mm -hmm. is, and you'll see this when we're out there, you can move around the boat as much as you want while we're out there. We're gonna be on absolute rails. That's the beauty of it. So one of the, as you'll notice here, I keep talking about the airplane, and mm -hmm. this goes all the way to the screen. So we have our flight control screen here that's mm -hmm. the exact same way an airplane does. Hmm. So right here, we see how high off the water we are. We see here our airspeed or our boat speed, different engine RPMs and our heading, same way that uh, an airplane looks. And here you have your standard rear marine charts like you would on any two throttles. Joystick system over here mm -hmm. for joystick docking, and we'll show you that as well and how that works. Each of the motors is independently controlled, mm -hmm. so the boat can actually walk sideways and twist. And that's the basis and really the backbone of our autonomous docking system. Mm -hmm. So the boat can move side to side in any way uh, and be able to, to move into any direction, which is critical. For so I'm a pilot of a commercial captain's license for boats as well. Everyone on the team is from NASA, Kitty Hawk, McConney, comes from really strong aviation backgrounds. And so this boat is built with redundancy. You'll notice two motors, two batteries, two controllers, two throttles, two screens. Mm -hmm. Everything has double. And then our biggest important item is that people are always getting home and you have a redundancy. Mm -hmm. And that's critical when you're in the air and we feel it's also critical when you're on the water. These these foil units, I guess, retract up out of the water. Can we raise those up real quick? Uh, they're they locked in right now. Oh, they're locked yeah. in? Yeah. Okay, yeah. but when you pull into shallow water, those things will actually retract. Yeah. And you can pull into shallow water, pull into the beach. Yeah. All sorts of things, right? So they not only retract for shallow water, they also mm -hmm. retract for stowage on the lake or mm -hmm. on the ocean. And then all the foils go up and then tilt forward. So it's actually yeah. removed from the water surface mm -hmm. um, for saltwater life of the boat and also for trailering. Yeah. So the draft is between two feet and six feet. So mm -hmm. it's two feet when the foils are all the way up or six feet when they're all the way down. Yeah. And the way to think about the depth you need, so these foils are multiple lock positions, multiple foil heights, mm -hmm. is foil height plus two feet. Mm -hmm. So if you want to foil in uh, six feet of water, or sorry, foil, foil four feet above the water, you mm -hmm. need six feet of water. Hmm. If you want to foil two feet above the water, you need four feet of that. We're well, probably ready to go, huh? Get this yeah. thing fired up and let's go for a, uh, a plane ride, I guess you might call it. Huh? There we go. Yeah. We call it takeoff, we call it landing. It is. So you'll notice how Sam is just walking the boat right over with the joystick and with those electric motors, a complete lack of any noise. So this boat carries no fuel on it at all, but it's yeah. the energy equivalent of two gallons of gas. Wow. So we're going to boat all day and use the same energy as we would for two gallons of gas. Mm -hmm. So the amount of gas we've used just to get from the dock, 
that most boats would use. We've used the same amount for the whole day as most boats use to get from here to that. Fascinating. And then what's the charge cycle on this? Yeah, so it's about an hour on a fast charger. Mm -hmm. A lot of marinas across the U.S. are having those chargers mm -hmm. installed. And then it's about six to eight hours off regular short power. So pull in, plug in your short power. Same way you plug in. Hour later. Your... Yeah. And with our power grid around here, I would imagine we have the facilities around Seattle to probably charge up a boat like this. So. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. And the, the Unbelievable. best thing is, so marinas are actually much better set up than homes are for charging. Mm -hmm. That every slip is already a level two charger versus homes aren't. Mm -hmm. And so every marina slip already has typically uh, 220, 30, or 50 amp. And so you can charge in six to eight hours on a full charge mm -hmm. and top up for an hour or two and be on your way. Mm -hmm. So now you've got your hand on the throttle over there. What's going to happen when you push so that forward? Simply all I'm going to do here, we'll do a takeoff. Yeah. All I'm going to do is a nice slow takeoff where I'll push it forward. I'm not doing anything else other than accelerating forward on the throttle. And I'm going to push it down. We have the throttle limited right now at 50%. Mm -hmm. So as I accelerate here, you'll feel the nose pick up. And the boat's going to take off here at 16 knots. And all it's going to do is lift up, and you're up on a foil. And, and we're it. flying. You're flying. <laughs> you're flying. Wow. And we'll go, there's not much waves out here, but we'll go through this little wake right here. Just yeah. So you can kind of get a feel for it. A little wake right here. We're going over. through a little wave right here, and you'll notice the boat doesn't even move. And we got a little bit of a wave right here. No movement at all. We're just flying right over top of these waves. Easy. Yeah. And so I can do some banking turns just like an airplane. So if I roll the wheel, I bank. Yeah. Exact same way that an airplane would. So this boat can do a full 360 in sport mode in uh, just under 60 feet. And uh, so I'll, I'll we'll loop around here and give uh, do a bit of show, to, a bit of a show to everybody else. Yeah. Well, there's a little bit of wave action out here. I mean. We got some waves right here. You can't feel anything. We're just going right over top of the waves here, and we've seen videos of this Navier down in San Francisco Bay in four-foot seas, yeah. flying right over the top of those those waves. That chop. We're gonna go right by this uh, this boat here, camera boat. How fast are we going, buddy? Twenty-three knots. It feels like you're crawling, though. You know. And you can just have a nice conversation in here. Airplanes have two wings. This boat has three wings. Mm -hmm. So for short periods of time, it can fly off two wings enough to be able to land you very smoothly. Mm -hmm. So I'll do a landing here next to the, next to the boat over here, just so you can see what it's like. And so right there, I pulled. I did full. I pulled full power. Yeah. Right. With it, right. What happened there is huh. the same thing that would happen if you lost the motor. It literally felt like we've we've flown on a lot of float planes in Alaska and whatnot. Yeah. It felt like landing in a float plane it right did. there that as we happened. settled right down onto the water and we stopped within forty feet, maybe. At the most. Yeah. And yeah. we could do less if we wanted to. Yeah. So I, that was huh. a relatively quick landing and I could yeah. pull full power and it would come down mm -hmm. even faster. Or I could go even slower and do a smooth landing. And so even though this is a prototype, this is probably pretty close to what the recreational model is going to look like. It's, it's uh, fully there. Yeah. What you say is waist down. So mm -hmm. the, the technology, the motors, the controllers, all of that. Uh, there's some niceties on the boat that we're adding into the production thing. You're a tall gentleman. Mm -hmm. The ceiling, for example, is going to be I have my head on every ceiling, so that's why I'm sitting we're, down we're, right we're, now. we're getting three inches taller, for example, in this oh, boat. There go. There's yeah. going to be a different way to enter the boat, some more uh, conveniences that mm -hmm. are on the boat that our customers have asked for yeah. that are being built into so heat, air conditioning, refrigerator, mm -hmm. uh, head yeah. unit, which is inst this will be a head right up here in, here. Yeah. in this closet, some hmm. more cup holders, boarding doors, etc. cetera. Uh, and off we go. We're flying again. Boom. So, we're going to take it. so one thing is watch the wake. So watch the wake disappear. So right now you have a nice big wake and you'll watch it fully disappear here in a second. Huh. So you can see the exact moment when we go on foil. Crazy, right? No wake. I'm thinking of some of the areas in Puget Sound where we've got problems with 
you know, lake zones. I mean, like Rich Passage, where the where the foot ferries go through there, and they have to slow all the way down. With a larger variant of this, they could carry passengers through there all day long and not worry about you know shoreline erosion and damaging people's bulkheads and all that stuff. Pretty, pretty, pretty amazing. So the cool thing to do is you can actually see exactly where we land as well. Mm -hmm. So when I put it down here, I'll put it down next to the pontoon so we can do a trade. Mm -hmm. And what you'll see here is the second that I put it down, and you can watch the wave. And you can see our, our touchdown point. So I'll, I'll you do want to watch behind us? Yeah, yeah. Watch behind us here so you can see exactly uh, where we touch down. You can see that splash zone? Mm -hmm. And you can see that yeah. the stopping period there. There's the landing zone right there. Yeah. Huh. Pretty cool, huh? That's neat. Then when you're flying, this thing is stable. So you could put everyone on one side of the plane or boat or whatever you're calling whatever this, you and uh, it's going to be stable. Yeah. Right? Totally. We can. Uh, we can do, we'll do one more and I'll have you run yeah. front to back on the yeah. boat. Yeah. And um, one more little takeoff here. We'll okay. head away from them. And uh, once we jump up here on a foil. Is it side to side stable too? Whatever you want. We're flying along here at 25 knots on this Navier 30. And this boat slash plane is totally stable. I can lean way out. Doesn't change. The attitude or the angle of this boat at all. Walk all the way to the front. Absolutely stable. Doesn't change anything. I'll loop Amazing. Here. And you said you're at 25% power? Probably even a little less. So this boat has 240 horsepower total and I'm using 35. Yeah. So whatever the math is on that right now. Yeah. So full throttle, wide open throttle, full power is like 30, 35 knots. Yeah, and we limit that. So that's, cool. that's, that's actually, you're still only technically at 50% of the engine. Huh. Uh, and we do that just because you're doing 35 knots over a four foot chop, you're gonna beat any big boat out there. Oh yeah. And you do that all while sipping half a gallon of fuel, maybe. A like, fuel equivalent of this. We just landed here, nice soft landing. Yeah, this is neat, man. Absolutely. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. It's a great time. What do you all think? We want to see your questions and comments uh, down below. Is this the future or what? Super cool. Thank you for the time, Sam. This Absolutely. isn't going to be my last ride on that boat, I'll tell you that much. We're either going to make a, a, a special trip down to San Francisco or hopefully you guys will be up here again, man. Absolutely. Um, really a special day. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there. We'll catch you next time.